Um, Super Bowl, Kendrick Lamar is slated to host it. Yes. Like Reggie was just saying, it's a Super Bowl 59. Yes. A lot of people assume that Lil Wayne was supposed to be the one to do it this year. I'll speak personally. Uh-oh. I thought Taylor Swift had it this year. Oh, yo, right. honestly, yo, cut the cameras off. I'm, I'm out of here. No, hear me out. Hear yeah. me out, Twan. And I know no, this looks bad because I'm, I'm the only no, like. I, I can leave. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 I got language no, because, Wait, the Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans. And so New Orleans and shit. That's, that's why you said that. Yes, that's why you said yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, what I mean by it is we saw Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift all last NFL season. Yes. It was to a point where you would go on ESPN or watch the games and they would constantly pan to her in the sweet box just, you know, cheering Travis Kelsey. Just like Kelsey they did the first week. Absolutely, yeah, right? Yeah. Even to the point where Usher was slated to do it and people were like, hmm... I don't think these rumblings were correct or right, but they were like, hmm, I think tra you know, uh, Taylor. Taylor Swift might take it because of how the NFL is incorporating her. So before I could even think about Wayne, I thought it was in the bag, Taylor Swift. She's still with Travis Kelsey. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, you know what, maybe if they broke up over the summer, you know, it, it just so happened. Right. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. um, I guess a lot of the internet, and I want to know what you guys thought about this today. Kendrick Lamar did have an amazing year. Okay. We, we, we know that. Right. Was it supposed to be Wayne? Uh, you know, we could get into that. All right. So, again, this is not me speaking logistically because I work in the Apple ecosystem. Because, like I said earlier, um, I woke up Sunday at like one thirty-two, and okay. my sister hit me and was like, yo... The Giants uniforms suck. <laughs> Sound like Reggie. <laughs> and I was with Giants. No, was in the group that was the no I was like, because, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not like an NFL expert. I literally texted. I was like, guys, what is going on with the Thank uniforms? You. Like, Thank I don't you. know if everyone was on the same page with this. Like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I forgot the Giants is playing at one o'clock. Like, so that, that's what I'm worried about. Then I I get online. I get on ESPN. And I'm like, all right, what's the score? It's like 20 to 6. I'm like, I'm going back to sleep. I'm like, fuck this <laughs> Let's shit. Let's try again next week. And then, all right, and then I get, okay, the text messages. Mm -hmm. And the Twitter mentions start. I'm like, what the What's fuck? I'm like, what is going on? It's 1.30. Like, bro, we just getting Sunday started. And then I see this nigga sitting in front of the fucking American flag. I'm like, all right, so is this an album? Mm. Or is... then I see the caption, Super Bowl 59, New Orleans. I'm like, oh, oh. God. Mm. My timeline. I had people, how could you? <laughs> How could I what? I didn't even take a shower yet. Oh, was at you? At yes. you. <laughs> Wait, what? Now you had Apple Music in your bio, right? Yeah. Uh, they saw Apple Music on a little promo video and it was like, yo, how could you, Low? Yo, word, Low. <laughs> that's what y'all doing over there. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Yo, they just want to blame you someone. You only doing that because... I'm like, fam, I'm not even... I don't even go into the office till tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, um, even before the announcement, was made i was like yo wayne would be the perfect suited person mm -hmm. for this or it'd be a cash money reunion or this that and the third or yeah. whatever the case is but a lot of things that people are missing is mm -hmm. when wayne did essence festival mm. and wayne wasn't a part of the Birdman cash money thing mm -hmm. and i see a lot of people saying like this would be a great time to celebrate cash money as a unit mm -hmm. This would be great, a great time to celebrate little Wayne and a unit as a unit or just as a you know a superstar and just a caveat to hip hop. And it's like, I get it. I understand it. But the more you start deep diving and looking at these little little Wayne, you know, inserts, whatever, like someone from the Grammys had tweeted out some shit like, yo, he's hard to work with, he's difficult, mm -hmm. he's inconsistent, he's not reliable, this, that, and the third, he forgets his lyrics, he's not on time. Like, a bunch of little things that make sense for a big-ass stage like that. Do I say he's not deserving? That's not what I'm saying at all, because mm -hmm. Wayne's catalog is immaculate and monsterful, mm -hmm. right? So the music is not the the conversation. Mm -hmm. Wayne, feature-wise, feature has been great this year. Feature after feature after feature after feature and just body in it. What moment has Wayne served this year that can carry a situation like the Super Bowl that would attract and that would kind of like maintain because mm -hmm. like that's 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Wayne's catalog is fucking insanely deep. Mm -hmm. 
and trying to pick a set list. Do you br- and, and all the people he's collaborated with? Yeah, bro. Like, do you understand how difficult that can be? It's a moment for the production from you know Apple production and Rock Nation trying to re- and then trying to fit in all those guests. Is he going to be reliable? Mm-hmm. Is he going to have these lyrics? Because when he does these shows, he has his lyrics like on. Uh, like a little teleprompter. Yeah, mm. you saw a motherfucker. I didn't read, know that. You, yeah, mm-hmm. like I, I didn't know that. if you watch some of his shows, you see like mm-hmm. he's got teleprompter. It's like it's like karaoke almost. Yeah, mm-hmm. but he but, also did Rolling Loud. Yeah, no, no, I get it. But and he did like over thirty songs that I, time. I understand that, but at the same time, like yeah. though it it's sometimes a necessity for him. Right. And as much music as he has, that's no there's no fault to his own. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Well, but I, I but, do but think, the Super Bowl, you got you got thirteen to fifteen minutes. What I will say to that point. And I agree with everything you said. One of the things that I wrote down in my notes was Lil Wayne is deserving. Because I know we're going to have Without a conversation. Question. I know people are going to clear We'd have to make it crystal clear. Right? Question. Like, so Without. I'm glad you said it because I was going to say that too. I have no problem saying it because it's not like I'm saying, yo, Wayne can't do it. Wayne, like, there's a lot mm-hmm. of conversation about, yo, Wayne doesn't have Super Bowl records. I'm like, y'all are fucking retarded. Crazy. Y'all think that he don't have You're Super Bowl really? records. I don't know if he does. Save on, okay? Save right, okay, right. now, now they're See, all right, now he about, never mind. Save on. Now, wait, wait, you just said he's does. deserving, so he um, doesn't yeah. have records now? Uh, no. I, what's, sorry, two, so what's, what's two, the difference? Two things can be true. He could have, like, he cannot have the Super Bowl records, but still be deserving. If you're saying he's deserving, that means you know the content and the, the shit that he's created has made you say that. Come on, bro. He's deserving. He's not deserving because he's like, he's a, a fashion icon. He's no. deserving because he's one of the greatest rappers and artists that ever hit our stage. A Millie, yes. Lollipop. For sure. He can do 15 minutes. He could do Easily. He can do 20 he minutes. He could do 15 minutes anywhere. So then how you say but he's what, not deserving? What, what talk, I, I'm not saying he's not deserving. He is deserving. But what I'm saying is the records may not translate to the audience that the Super Bowl presents. In New Orleans? They're fucking in New Orleans, Savon. <laughs> if they right. was in Tampa, yeah, <laughs> okay, I get that. Yeah, yeah, all right. If yeah, they was in Arizona, about... they're in New Orleans, bro. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay. The only time that the city and the artist has correlated in a meaningful way was Los Angeles when Dr. Dre had all of the people that he brought out for his influence. The Super Bowl is not synonymous with the city that is in, which says, hope the artist needs to be a part of this show. That's not what but, I'm saying. That was not, that's not what we're saying. So what y'all keep but, talking but, about no, New Orleans. No, you just take said. Take New Orleans out of it. On, you just but that's why they would hit. That's why they would hit. You yeah, just said it. We're not saying that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, we, like, saying? We, we can't say the obvious of saying hypothetically take them out yeah you take them out then we're having a different conversation it's we're never in mattered. fucking in new orleans it's, I, but it, it, it never no, mattered it, has, it, it hasn't mattered that's until not the, that's not that's not the an city argument. the, that's the not city an and the artist yeah. has not mattered in who the halftime I, performer I, I is agree with you. until agree with you. the dr dre la thing there was a Absolutely. big thing because it's big business and this whole shit is big business yeah. but that. the la thing was so big because it was in la yeah. they had yeah. a brand new stadium yes. they just brought the rams weren't over the rams weren't the rams playing the rams I can't remember. remember that Super Bowl. They they may have been playing. Rams, the Rams, the Rams, 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 Rams were in playing. the Super Bowl yeah, yeah, yeah. recently. I don't no, know if it's that, was that, that one. That was that year. That was that year. Okay. Regardless, they were playing. the city that the Super Bowl is in has never correlated with the artist. We're not. It only we're started. Not, we're not, it only no, happened. We agree with you. We're not saying that. Okay, but then so them, we're not okay. saying that. Why are we what, saying no, it needs to be? What we're saying, what we're saying is, it does not make any more clearer sense to not have other than. Him. Right. I mean, that, that, that's, a, that's, that's a bigger argument that everybody's saying, like, bro, when you think of New Orleans, you think of what? But if I'm the NFL, no, Wayne. And if that, I'm, listen, if I'm the I world, I get it. I get it. If I'm the world and mm-hmm. if I'm the NFL mm-hmm. and I think of New Orleans, sure, I do think of Lil Wayne. And mm-hmm. again, he is deserving. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about big business. I'm talking about the biggest event of the year. Let me throw you a bone. I'm not, li- I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, we have to pay tribute to this city because this great man did great things here. Right. I'm going to think about the product. The product says the biggest rapper of this year with the biggest song, rap song of this year, with the not just the biggest song, but He's, the legacy not, and the catalog you're not, you're is Kendrick not, Lamar. You're not wrong. You're, you're not, not wrong. wrong. So, Let me throw you yes, you're not wrong. I'm not saying Lil Wayne is not deserving. <laughs> yeah. But I can easily look at how these things are constructed and be like, oh wait, but like, like, but, like but like we've been okay. saying, like we've been saying all episode, two things can be true. If Wayne was selected, fuck it, I get it, mm-hmm. I understand that. But the things that Kendrick did this year, yeah, it just, it just is like, all right, guys, like you, get, we can't be that numb or that like can't oblivious. Be. 
to just wonder why, like, he got, like, really? Why like, do you, why, calling, like, like to really? Your, to, to your point, I got you, Reggie. Mm-hmm. To your point, if I'm advertised with the NFL, and we got Kendrick Lamar, who's had the number one song all throughout the summer and everything, I can... Comp- still, 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 it's, still, it's, the top it's still in the top ten. Right, so at, still at the, the time top of this recording, still, right? Yep, yep. I get exactly what you're saying. What I will say is the other side of things, right? Jay Z has an extensive relationship with Lil Wayne. Both one exactly one Both. that goes far before Kendrick Lamar was even in the frame of things. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Of course. So when you put that up there, it's like all right, cool. Not only do you have a relationship with Kendrick Lamar, like oh, fuck, I'm having a fucking brain. Fuck. I'm in a position. If, if and again, if I'm Hove. Yes, I have a relationship. And we don't know. Like 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 Lowe has been saying all fucking episode. We don't know what these people right, well, don't, talk don't, about. Don't, don't, don't say like I'm dragging it. Like, no. You're saying like I'm being annoying. Like, no. He's been saying, he's been no, saying this shit all fucking episode. I'm just saying it's consistent. Gonna, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm saying it. It's I'm consistent. Gonna, I'm going to throw a little joke in there. You got my fault. No, did you deliver that so seriously? I was like, oh shit. I was like, bro. I was like, is he mad at us? But I did. Not at all. Not at all. But I say it because it's one of the things we could harken back to. This is a callback. Like, we don't really know. So we don't know if this announcement came with mm-hmm. Lil Wayne already being in the know mm-hmm. of hey this is gonna be what it is but we're gonna give you X, Y, and Z. Like we don't really know all of the variables there, there, in there, the situation. There's a, there's, okay, Maybe so, you might know because you had Apple. See here we go then. Hey, I do it. I can do it. it. Can I, can, he booked Kendrick Lamar. Can you just, can you just get, before I start yelling at him can you just give me a little bit more chance? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so I did my research before I came here right okay, and I'm like alright because I know we're gonna have a conversation about how these performers are selected. Mm-hmm. Who selects it? Mm-hmm. Who's responsible? Right. So I um, I saw that the NFL has a committee of people that they get artists submitted and they make a a, a, a convert. They make a, a selection of who's going to be in this standard third. And this mm-hmm. is from the NFL, Rock Nation. Who, yeah, Rock Nation. Right. The, uh, the head of music at NFL, mm-hmm. and then I think the city committee. Mm -hmm. of like New Orleans or whatever city it is and they all come to a consensus right and I was reading this article and you know uh, I think I think the NFL has stated that like you know it's it's a bunch of us that make this 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 Mm -hmm. this uh this decision yeah and we have like we have a list of artists you know we bring it to the heads we bring it to the people responsible and then a decision is made Mm -hmm. I think it was like the CEO of entertainment in New Orleans was like, that's not true. The NFL is responsible solely for mm-hmm. making that decision. I literally, right. we're right here. I literally have that qu- quote pulled up. You know what I'm talking in about. In a statement emailed to Anscape. Yep, um, yep, yep. There Jay Cicero, the president and CEO yes, of Greater New Orleans is, yep. Sports Foundation, yep. he said, quote, it is the NFL's decision alone for all entertainment for mm. the Super Bowl. We found out it. Uh, we found out about at the, it at, at the, the same, same time, time as, as you guys. Did. Yeah. And he was just replying because people were like, "Oh, like New Orleans, like it's is a, city a part that of it." it. Yeah. And then he was like, "No, no, no. They made the decision without us." So mm-hmm. I think that's worth noting. No, absolutely. So. And I and I that's know, why I wanted to make sure I brought. And I'm glad that you make, so me and you were making the same point. But yeah. a lot of people were like, "Well, okay, if the city makes it, why wouldn't they choose?" Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. And then you have, they're saying that uh, Master P is the entertainment ambassador for mm. Super Bowl weekend. So, like, is he included on the selection process? Yeah. Or is it hey, like. I hate to be the guy uh, to say this. What's up? Do you say so Jay Z? I, I, I really do. <laughs> Jay Z? No, 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 no. I mean, I don't know what Jay Z. I think when these decisions are made, mm-hmm. we're talking cultural versus global. That's what I think a lot of this is. And so when you get a Dr. Uh, Dre a few years ago that's in Los Angeles, yeah. yes, it makes perfect sense. We're in LA. We got Dr. Dre. We got all of the Aftermath affiliates. Yeah, it it makes Dog, sense. Mary J. Blige, but not only does it make sense for the city at that time, but everybody that he brought out could be considered a global artist on their own. So much so that one of the artists he brought out was Kendrick Lamar, who's actually headlining it this year. 